hello welcome back to another weekly vlog january is getting towards the end which i'm quite happy about i'm not a massive january fan i try to be like you know positive about it but sometimes it does just feel like a difficult month so yeah we've got about a week and a half left of january um i have not had a productive day at all yet um it's like half half twelve um i woke up quite late and it's just taken me quite a long time to like get myself up and dressed and ready and semi functioning um but yeah i'm up, i'm there now um and i am trying to import some pictures onto my computer so that i can get a blog post up and then i might also do a little bit of editing as well um i don't really have any plans today apart from a council meeting this evening so just sort of trying to get bits done i made a phone call to the hospital to try and sort out an appointment um and i've got some other little bits and bobs that just need doing so it's kind of one of those like bitty admin -y kind of days um not massively exciting but got a couple of nice things on this week which will hopefully make the vlogs slightly more interesting um but yeah for now just gonna get on with uh, some admin -y blog type bits so i've got my blog post up which was good i just needed to edit a couple of photos and get that up um i'm trying to put together like a goodbye 2018 video so i'm going back through all the videos i made during 2018 and trying to do like a little bit of a montage which is taking quite a while but i'm hoping it'll be quite a nice memory of like 2018 um but i just popped to the loo and <laughs> i thought i would show you a read diffuser that my mum has put in here i don't use the family bathroom on this level a huge amount um because i'm either if i'm upstairs in my bedroom i've got my own suite or if i'm downstairs we have a toilet downstairs um although i have found like having my office here i do tend to use this toilet obviously when i'm in my office um so yeah it's quite nice to have a reed diffuser that smells really nice so i'll just show you what it is so it's this wax lyrical apple and raspberry and it just smells well it's really fruity and yeah the whole bathroom smells amazing so I would really recommend it. I've had my lunch and I'm just having a bit of quiet time now. I've got the telly on and I'm kind of just going through some emails, trying to catch up on backlog of emails that I've just been terrible with. Um, I was going to do some more editing, but I thought I might just do something a little bit quieter just because I'm going out later for this meeting. So I kind of want to preserve energy for that. Um, but yeah, just catching up on some things that I've recorded on TV as well, which is quite nice. Um, I watched, I've been watching this programme called Alone at Home. It was on Channel 4. I think there's like four different episodes. And it's basically where the kids got left at home for like four days or something. Um, and it's really funny, actually. So like if, I don't know, if you like that kind of thing, definitely check it out. I don't know whether it will be like on the, is it like four player? I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, check it out because I found it quite funny anyway. Um, and now I'm going to try and find something different to watch and get through some emails. So I'm just getting ready for bed and I thought I would put this light thing on it's also meant to be a like aromatherapy diffuser so i thought oh i'll put some like you put a bit of water and then like your oil in so i put some lavender oil in and set it going and it just seems to leak everywhere so i've just spent a little while clearing up all the water that had just leaked everywhere so uh i don't think i'm going to be using it as a diffuser um but the light's quite nice like i like the it changes like through the different colors and I find it quite relaxing. But if anyone can recommend like an oil diffuser, because I kind of prefer that idea to having like a candle burning, um, especially like at night when I'm get, I don't know, when I'm feeling tired and stuff. Um, sometimes it's just nice to know you're not like, you haven't got a flame going. Um, but yeah, if anyone can recommend like a really nice oil diffuser, do let me know because I'd quite like one. I've got a few oils and I quite like the whole like aromatherapy 
thing so yeah but for now I shall leave the light on because I think it's quite relaxing morning I am going into town with my mum this morning um, I need to go to the bank to pay in the money that I raised <laughs> back in December for that craft afternoon that we did for Mind um, and what else have I got to do? Oh, I want to go into O2 to pick up a new SIM card because I need to, well, I want to get the new the iPhone X something or other. Not the like really big one, but the cheaper one, um, just because my phone has pretty much had it, but it needs a nano SIM. Um, so yeah, I need to switch over to a nano SIM and I think I need to pop into Boots to get a couple of toiletries. Um, so yeah, I was up like relatively early this morning, which is quite good for me, and we're going to head over to town. So a bit of time has gone past since I last spoke to you. Um, my mum and I popped into town. We weren't there that long because we just had to do a couple of errands. We weren't kind of like going to browse really. Um, got my SIM card sorted. Um, what else did I do? Paid the money into the bank. I... What did I do? Oh, and then I went to Boots and Clinton's and got a couple of bits which I will show you. Please excuse my bed looking slightly odd, um, changing the sheets. So all you can see at the moment is the bottom bit and my electric blanket, <laughs> which is very nice. Um, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> um, yeah, the weather was really nice this morning. It was really sunny and now it's pouring with rain. So I think we chose the right time to go. Um, and it's flipping freezing as well um, but yeah I've had lunch um, and I think now I am going to do a bit more editing because I'm quite enjoying editing this like roundup of 2018 kind of going through all my vlogs from the last year and putting them together so yeah I think I'm going to do a bit of that but I will just show you a couple of bits that I bought as I said I didn't really buy much but I thought I might as well show you what I did get so the first thing that I picked up is a new toner. Um, I have been using a Garnier A1, but it's like a gel and I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, to be honest, I kind of, I don't know, I like trying different ones. I do like the normal Garnier toners, but I just didn't particularly like this one. I really, really wanted to get the Pixie, um, not the... I've tried the original, like, is it the Glow Tonic? But they've also got like a pink one out now, which I really wanted to try, but it's £18. And I was like, I'm not sure that I can justify that. So I picked up this one. It's a Botanics one. Never tried it before. Um, all, bite, all Bright with Hibiscus Cleansing Toner for all skin types. So, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with that. I've also ordered my new phone, which I'm very excited about. Um... This phone I think I've had for going on three years. The case is like ridiculously broken. Um, it's an iPhone SE and it's done like me well. It's lasted very well. Um, but it's got to that point where the battery will say, I don't know, like 80% or something. And then all of a sudden it will jump down to 1% and turn the phone off. And my last iPhone did exactly the same thing. And... You know, it was after a few years of having it and sort of, I don't know, even getting a new battery doesn't make a huge amount of difference. So I just think I'm in line for a new phone anyway. I've been saving up. Um, so I have ordered the iPhone XR, I think it's called. Um, and I should get that tomorrow. So I need to look for a new case for it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Just get the other things out that I got. Then the other two things I picked up were from Clinton's. They were both in the sale. Basically, I usually send like some of my friends little Valentine's cards. And just as like, I don't know, because I find Valentine's Day quite difficult sometimes being single and feeling a bit, I don't know, left out. And I know they say, you know, love isn't just Valentine's Day and stuff, but it's very much kind of shoved in your face on Valentine's Day. Um, so I like to send like friends um, just a little card or something just to kind of brighten their day. Um, but I have been looking at, you know, like normal Valentine's Day cards. And I'm sure usually they do like a range for like Galentine's Day or for friends. And I just can't find any. There was a couple at Paper Chase, but they're quite expensive if you've got to buy a few. And I looked in Clinton's today 
and they even had like a blooming valentine from your cat or your dog but they didn't have valentines for friends um and then i was just looking around and i happened to come across these ones um i don't think these are like specifically valentine's cards um but they've just got a little like gold paper plane with some little hearts behind it um these were 560 and you get oh there's me in the, in the thing you get 16 cards in envelopes which i thought was pretty good and you know i don't have to use them just for valentine's and then i also picked up these which are like i suppose like note cards these are seven pounds and you get 50 cards and envelopes in there which i thought was a pretty good buy anyway i mean i write pen pal letters and stuff anyway so i can use some of these as sort of like little valentine's cards to send to friends but i can also just use them you know for writing pen pal letters and stuff so i thought those were pretty good finds um they were spotty on the back as well and yeah that was everything that i bought so not a huge amount but kind of all stuff that i kind of needed um and now i'm gonna go and do a bit of editing I've been concentrating on my editing and I just stood up and looked out the window and it's bloody snowed. Oh my goodness, that kind of came round pretty quick because I haven't been looking at my computer for that long. I think it's stopped now but uh, we have snow. Freddie's definitely got the right idea. Curled up on the bed by the radiator. It's a nice and warm down there. Yeah, I wish I could curl up down there. And then I've got Mr. Alf sitting next to me on the sofa. Are you not talking to me, Alf? Alfie. Alfie. <laughs> Oi! Are you ignoring me? Sorry, am I boring you? I am very happy sitting where I'm sitting at the moment with this one and this one i can't actually think of anywhere else i would rather be right now than curled up on the sofa with these two um i kind of feel like i appreciate them and xena our other cat a lot more um since jaffa died i haven't really talked about it since like my video you know when he died um and i'm still contemplating writing another blog post at some point um, but really, I don't know, just recently, like, I seem to miss him more, like, than I thought I could. I don't know, like, I will go to bed and I was so used to having him, like, on my bed every night. And having that, like, comfort and company, I suppose, that, you know, I just, I just really miss him. I do still have his bed on my bed at the moment i am planning to get it turned into like a cushion or something i just haven't like i don't know found the I can't even think of the right word like obviously i will have to give that bed to somebody to cut up and turn into a cushion and i know it's just a bed but it's quite a big thing to like give it away and like hope that it comes back like you know okay um but yeah i don't know i just things feel quite empty at the moment and i just wanted to talk about it because people don't really talk a lot about pet loss you know it's kind of expected of you that you will get over it and get on with life and carry on i suppose and yes you know i know i do have to get on but i don't know i want to I, w I guess i want people to understand that it's okay to like grieve in the same way that you would grieve for a person because like i know it's like for example jaffa like he was a massive part of my life for was it 13 years or something which is a long time and you know to have <laughs> i remember when i went to group and i was like i said you know i miss jaffa as much as i miss my grandparents or if not 
more not like not more but like I miss him in a different way and they were like well yeah but your grandparents didn't sleep on the on the end of your bed every night which is true you know like I you know I had Jaffa with me like I wouldn't say 24-7 because obviously I went out, but whenever I was at home, he was there. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that I miss him and that I, I don't know, I'm just so glad that we've still, we've got like Freddie and Alfie and Xena because they, I don't know, there's just something about having a cuddle with an animal that is you can't get anywhere else and I think if I didn't have them I would be finding this even harder but I do so I, I do miss Jaffa and I don't know life's just not the same without him so I'm gonna cuddle up to these boys and to, I don't know just have a bit of a snuggle and feel a bit crap for a little bit so the NTAs are on tonight and that is what I'm going to be spending my evening doing. Just, they literally just started with John Barron and um, O'Leary and yeah, just snuggled up here with Freddie watching the NTAs. Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong. Pretty Good morning. I have been up since about half past six, um, which is quite unusual for me. Um, but I had a physio appointment first thing, so I needed to be up. Sorry, this is like cutting half my head off. If I don't lean back like this a bit, it might be better. There we go. Um, so yeah, I had a physio appointment quite early, so I had to get up. Um, I'm not, I'm not a morning person by any stretch of the imagination, but I do quite like it when I get up early. I just, I don't know, I feel like you have more of the day, well you do have more of the day ahead of you. I feel like when I get up early, I'm like, I don't know, I'm getting off to a good start. Um, I'm not sure I'll be thinking that by like the evening though. Um, so yeah, it snowed yesterday as I think I told you and I don't think it really it didn't really snow again overnight but it kind of froze so it's a little bit scary getting off our estate and then like once we're on the main roads it's absolutely fine um but it's a really nice morning like the sun has kind of been shining on and off um and it looks really pretty like on the snow and we've got um snowdrops in our garden and like seeing them through the snow is quite pretty um but yeah we've got noah today he is asleep currently so I'm just going to get on with some editing, um, for, well, until he wakes up again, um, and then I will help get his lunch and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the good thing about getting up early, I actually have time to like do some editing while they're asleep, rather than me still being in bed, so we're doing well. You're a diamond in the rough, shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Order in a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart as so oh, dance. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good music to dance to? You say, Nino, Nino! Uh oh! <laughs> hey! Sorry, is that yours? Mice! Oh, Nino! 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 Nino!
<gasps> lunch time! So I've just helped Noah with his lunch. Um, we had a little play beforehand. He's in such a giggly mood today, which is really cute. Um, and yeah, he's just, he's a bit crazy today, bless him, but I love it. Um, so he's had his lunch. He's now gone to a toddler group with my dad and my mum. Um, I am going to get some lunch, maybe watch a little bit of TV, and then I am going to go swimming because, well, that's one of my goals, to try and go swimming each week. Um, but yeah, I kind of need to leave it a little bit because they have like a supervised swim. But I'm, not quite, I'm never quite sure what time it finishes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a, have a bit of lunch, leave it a little bit obviously because I don't want to swim straight after lunch. Um, and then I will head over to do some swimming. Right, swimming is done. I always find it hard to like actually get motivated and find the energy to go. But once I get there, I quite enjoy it. And it's quite nice because it's so cold outside, but the water in like the pool area is nice and warm. Um, and I find that really... I don't know, comforting on my joints. Um, the only problem is my pots doesn't respond doesn't respond particularly well to um, heat, so it can make me feel like well, it does make me faint and stuff. So I have to be careful that I don't like overheat. But it is quite nice to feel some warmth on my joints and just have a swim in the water and stuff. Um, I am going to head home now. Probably going to get stuck in school traffic, um, but hopefully by the time I get home, Noah will be home, so I can. Have a little play with him before he has to go home. Someone is tucking into their favourite snack, watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> You're in such a cheeky mood today. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're in such a cheeky mood. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Is that nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's Honey <Sunny> doing? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Gotcha. Good boy. <laughs> Uh oh. That's good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, did you fall down? Uh oh. Oh my goodness. He's <laughs> dancing on his knees. <laughs> Quite hard, well, no, 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 don't do that because you'll fall off. Go on, go forwards. Yeah. Oh no, am I not pushing? You do it. Come on then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good boy. My clever. This way. Yay, clever boy. Oh, yeah, careful. Yeah, well, well done. done. Yes. Should we get your segue? Oh, don't lean too far forward. <laughs> oh, I see. Power. <laughs> Fart power, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's the horse, he said. It wasn't me. It's a dog. Oh, he's waving. Bye. 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 It is freezing this morning. Um, I have just been to my group. The snow, well here it's not really, there isn't any snow, 
Um, at home there's still snow but it's like frozen now so yeah it's a bit slippery um, and I spent quite a while trying to de-ice my car um, but yeah group was alright it was quite a small group this week not many people came but it was quite nice we had a good chat um, I kind of don't know whether I'm going to be able to come next week I've got a day surgery procedure on Tuesday to have some injections into my nerves in the back of my head um, so I just don't know how I'm going to feel I think they're doing it under sedation so I don't know how I'm going to feel afterwards so I kind of said I'll see how I go um, about coming next week um, oh, I'm just so cold I am going to sorry I'm just looking people keep walking past um, yeah I'm going to head home now we've got Noah for well some of the day I think they, he, Richard's picking him up about three because they're going to go and get him some shoes um, but yeah I'm going to head home and uh, hopefully get to spend a little bit of time with him before he gets picked up <laughs> Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets and Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away <laughs> Oh, he's so close Box. The secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. Quiet voices in the night. Time is running out of sight. are listening when we talk We're making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did I stop? What about Emma? Oh, 
Alex. <laughs> so you stop. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> Sorry, am I doing it wrong? Okay, I am completely wiped out. Um, so, well, it's a lot later than when I first spoke to you, but we've just been playing with Noah. Uh, gave him his lunch and stuff. Um, he hasn't actually slept very much today, but he still seemed to be pretty happy, which was good. Um, he's gone early because they are going to take him to get his first pair of shoes. Um, so yeah, just gonna, I was gonna go and try and do some more editing, but I need to do a couple of emails and stuff, um, and I have just run out of energy. So I'm gonna sit on the sofa, got my little pal down here, um, and I think I'm just gonna do a few little bits on my laptop, um, put the telly on, and, um, <laughs> I'm just so tired, I can't even speak. Um, yeah, just try and do something productive, but something that doesn't take quite as much energy up. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, isn't it, Fred? Although he's going to probably go to sleep, which I'm going to try very hard not to. Before I get ready for bed, I thought I would just show you what I have opened um, from the Disney store. I ordered these a few days ago and it's the first um, set of pins from the Disney Wisdom Collection. Um, so we've got Dumbo, we have got Timothy Mouse and then there's like a poster with the quote on that says the very things that held you down are going to carry you up and up and up. So yeah, I really like them. I'm looking forward to, they're going to be releasing um, like a flag that you can put all the pins on. So I keep checking to see if it's come out yet because I quite like to get it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to another lot of pins to collect. Hello, I can't say good morning because it's not the morning anymore. Um, I have got a day of absolutely no plans, which I'm so glad about because I'm not feeling brilliant today. Um, I've spent a lot of the morning sleeping. Um, and I've just about managed to get myself up and dressed. I say dressed, I mean I'm wearing <laughs> this Minnie Mouse uh, fleecy hoodie which was my sister's and she got it I think when we went to Disneyland Paris like 10 years ago um, and she didn't want it anymore and I was like it's quite cosy and comfortable so I'm gonna have it. Um, but yeah I don't have any plans for today. Um, I am just gonna do a bit of editing I think. Um, I need to respond to an email, um, but apart from that I think I'm just going to kind of take it quietly and like just rest and I don't know, I think, I don't know, it's just one of those days that I'm not feeling very well and kind of need to listen to my body and not push too much, so that's the plan. Sorry I'm being a really crap vlogger today, um, it's just a bit of a ill day. <laughs> um, I don't know, people with chronic health, uh, chronic illnesses will probably understand. Like some days, you know, you're not, you kind of, I wouldn't say you're not too bad, but you can manage it and you can do bits and bobs. Other days, it's just kind of, just try and make it through the day. <laughs> um, and that's what, when, that's what today is anyway. I'm struggling to stay awake, but I'm really trying to because I don't want to nap during the day today. Especially because I slept quite late this morning. Um, I did, yeah, I have done a bit of editing this morning. I've had my lunch. Um, I'm now watching Secret Life of Four Year Olds, I think it is. Um, and I'm going to try and reply to an email because it needs a response by this evening. Um, and just do little bits and bobs like that that aren't taking too much of my energy up. Um, and hopefully try not to fall asleep. I need a bit of energy for tomorrow because um, we've got a concert at our church with a lady called Philippa Hanna. <clears throat> um, and that's in the evening and I've got a ticket for that so I really want to be able to go and have enough energy to enjoy it which is why I'm kind of trying to just take it a bit easy today. Um, but yeah, it doesn't make for very good vlogging unfortunately but that's just, <laughs> that's just life. Isn't it Freddy? He really doesn't help to be fair because he comes and like snuggles up on me and because he's like all warm and snuggly 
he makes me feel like even more sleepy and makes me want to fall asleep. It's like, like I don't know, when Noah was like a bit younger, if he ever fell asleep when I was holding him, it's that thing of like having, holding a sleeping baby and it making you feel like you want to fall asleep. And it's the same with him. Um, but yeah, I do quite like having him snuggled up on me, so I can't really change that. <laughs> So I'm just writing some um, birthday cards and stuff that I've got for people with February birthdays and this is the one, one of the cards that I picked up and I just thought I'd show you because it made me laugh. Uh, just This is why we can't have nice things and it just reminds me of um, like when Jaffa was around because like bless him he would knock stuff off and break stuff and yeah just reminded me of him. Um, and the, blade, the girl that I'm going to send it to has um, cats as well, so hopefully it will make her laugh. So yeah, sorry for being a rubbish vlogger today. Um, I think I've had a bit of like a migraine or something because like every time I look at anything, everything feels very bright and kind of a little bit distorted and stuff. So that's possibly why I'm not feeling 100%. Um, but I just thought I would... Um, talk to you about my level of um, domestic godliness um, I don't even know if that's the right word it's not very high let's just put it that way so I have this um, Lumi clock which I've had for quite a few years now um, and oh gosh like before Christmas it stopped working um, the like light stopped working and I was like oh no it's broken um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to buy another one, blah, blah, blah. Um, I said to my dad, oh, can you have a look at it? And it just didn't happen over Christmas because it was busy and stuff. Um, and then when was it? The other day I was like, oh, let's just, I need, I wanted to look inside and I was trying to work out how to get inside. Basically, you just pull the top off. Um, and I thought, and then I thought, oh, maybe it just needs a new light bulb. Um. So I bought a new light bulb on Amazon and if you look now, it works again. Um, so yeah, I fixed my light, which I'll be honest, it's not really something I should be proud of because it's taken me a few months to work out that all it needed was a new light bulb, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, but it works again and I don't have to think about having to buy a new one which is quite good um, and also I didn't buy because I looked and you can buy like branded Lumi light bulbs um, they were like 4 or something I was like oh I'll just get one of them and then I read the reviews on Amazon and everyone was like you don't need to buy this particular light bulb from Lumi you can buy like it's just a standard light bulb you can buy um, so I had another look for the actual light light bulb and found that I could get two of that light bulb for like one ninety nine or something ridiculous. Um, so I could get like two for half the price of the Lumi one. Um, so I did that, so I saved some money. Um, I don't think that works if, because um, this one isn't a sad light. Um, it's just a normal like dimmable light. I think if you have the newer versions of the Lumi um, clock light things and they have the sad lights then you do need like a special bulb but I don't so there we go a little bit of boring this light is really hurting my head um, <laughs> I'm just going to turn that off now um, but yeah I thought I would just end on that because that pretty much sums up how my day has been going um but yeah really hoping that i feel a little bit better tomorrow i haven't got anything on like during the day apart from this concert in the evening so it's probably going to be another like fairly quietish day until my mum and i go down to the church so i've had a quiet morning so far today um yeah slept till quite late again still not feeling brilliant i've still got a bit of a funny headache um <clears throat> and just feel really really tired but I'm kind of taking it fairly easy today um, until we go out to this concert this evening. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of starting my day now that I'm dressed and everything. I have got like some bags on the floor from when I went 
to Tesco's and Boots, I can't even remember. Um, but I just wanted to empty and like put stuff away. I'd quite like to sort this stuff out because that is the stuff from when I went to Disneyland Paris, which is ridiculous, it's been sat there for ages. Um, so yeah, just doing like little, a little bit of tidying, um, just to kind of clear the floor a bit and just make things look a little bit less messy. Um, and then I'll kind of see how the time's going and decide what I'm going to do next. <laughs> productive today um i kind of i did all those bags that i showed you earlier um and hoovered kind of where they'd been so that kind of looks a bit better in my room now um i've had my lunch and i'm just doing a bit more editing and then in about about an hour's time um we are heading down to our local church for this philippa hannah concert um if you don't know who Philippa Hanna is, because you might not, um, she's like a Christian singer, but she's supported people like, I think it's like Little Mix, um, and some other sort of quite famous people. Um, I haven't heard a huge amount of her music, only kind of what my sister's played me, but from what I've heard, she's very good. Um, so we've got her, and then there's like two supporting acts, um, and it's all been kind of organised by my sister mainly and then kind of she set up a team to kind of help her do it so I'm like I'm a bit nervous but I'm looking forward to it as well um so yeah I'll kind of I'll put Philippa Hannah's YouTube cause she's got a YouTube channel and she has Instagram and stuff so I'll put her links down below if you want to go and like check her out I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film actually at the concert because of copyright and stuff but I'll see I'll see what I can do anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more editing done in the next hour or so before my mum and I head down to the church. I 
I'm bound. I'm bound into a long-term agreement. Um, he did ask me out for a coffee, and there was more to it than just wanting a coffee. He he had this thing to tell me. He said, I've been praying about this, and I really believe that you're the one for me. <laughs> I know, that's kind of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you're getting yourself into and I honestly don't think that I'm good enough for you and he said I've prayed about it don't be silly, I've prayed about it you take as long as you want and we'll take it slowly but I really believe you're a great girl of God from what I've seen and you're a new creation and it was such a revelation to me because even though I heard those words before new creation I don't think I really believed it I think I thought, well, today's a new day, but I'm still the old me. I've always wanted a friend like you, someone I could tell my secrets to. And I would hold you all the time, just because you're mine. And I could break your face in a million ways, with cherry lips so that you could taste all the sweet kisses I could rub your way. say um called Henry Fricker who is from Yateley which is where I'm from um and he was really good I'll try and like link to people if I can in the description bar if you want to check them out um yeah so he was first and then um a family that we know who used to go to our church um who have moved um away basically the dad of the family um was a curate at our church and now he is a vicar at another church um but they're very musical and stuff so they were the second support act and my sister sang with them a little bit and played cajon um so that was all really good and then philippa hannah was like the main act um and she did two sets and she like spoke a bit and yeah really really like interesting and like I've heard of, like quite a lot of her stuff on her YouTube channel um but yeah it was really interesting to hear like what she like spoke about and her sort of journey um and I could kind of identify with a lot of um what she talked about about like being bullied I suppose at school and 
having sort of mental health problems and depression and not feeling um, like you're kind of enough. Um, it, it all kind of was stuff that I can relate to. Um, and yeah, it was just really interesting to hear like how she's kind of working through it and how her faith and how music and stuff has helped her and yeah I mean loved her music really really good I'd heard like a couple of her songs um on her YouTube and like with Becca um playing it and stuff but um a lot of it I hadn't heard before and yeah really really loved it um and it was just a really really good evening <laughs> I don't know what else to say um I got I bought one of her pieces of merchandise which is this which is called Amazing You and it is a 365 devotions for dreamers so basically um it starts on like the first of january and each kind of day i'm just having a little look so you get um like you get a verse from the bible and then like she sort of talks about it a bit and there's a reflection and a prayer at the bottom um but also like on in the front in like the contents it can like it directs you to bits that you should read if you want material about a certain thing so if you want material about depression or anxiety or self-image or self-confidence all sorts of different things it tells you like which bits to read um and i've always found reading the bible quite difficult um, we spoke a lot about this when I did the Alpha course at the end of last year um, and I've kind of been trying to find ways of like how I can access it in a way that works for me. Um, I've got an app on my phone which is like a, a Bible verse a day which I'm not loving at the moment. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of like the setup of the app. So I'm kind of going to have another look and see if I can find something that suits me better. But I thought this would be quite good, um, like relating it to daily life, which is kind of the bit that I struggle with. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with it and I can always do a review of it at some point on here or on my blog. Um, but yeah, it was a really good evening and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and I am wiped out now. Um, I was kind of trying to decide whether to go to church tomorrow, but I think I'm going to give it a miss this time just because it's late. I'm exhausted. Like it's been a long evening. I'm in quite a lot of pain. Um, and we're going to my grandma's tomorrow afternoon as well. So I just think I need to kind of listen to my body a bit and pace myself and yeah, not go too hard. <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to kind of like check in and tell you a bit about tonight um very proud of my sister for like organizing it all like she had help and like my dad and my brothers have been really like helping her with like promotion and sound and organizing and everything and a few other people from the church as well have been really really great um but it was my sister's idea like to start with so yeah very proud of her for kind of having the vision to do it and stuff um, and yeah it was like it was sold out so well done Becca I'm gonna go to bed now because <laughs> I'm tired um, and I don't usually film much on a Sunday but I might film some bits tomorrow just because we're going to see my grandma and there's gonna be a few of us there and stuff so yeah I will say good night for now <laughs> stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights 
Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. So I didn't end up filming a huge amount today in the end. I kind of didn't think I would really, but I filmed a little bit. Um, when we went to see my grandma because no one was just being funny. Um, yeah, it's been a fairly quietish Sunday. Um, I think I said yesterday that I was kind of giving church a miss today um, so that I could just have a quiet morning and kind of recover from yesterday, um, which I did. I spent most of the morning asleep. Um, and then Richard, Lisa and Noah came over for lunch and then we all went over to my grandma's. Um, she didn't know, we were, well, she thought my dad was going to pop over to like see her and take some shopping and stuff. Um, so like me and, my mom, me and my mum turned up with my dad first, so that was a bit of a surprise. And then the doorbell went again and she was like, oh, I think it's like my uncle that pops around. Um, and we went and like answered the door and it was Richard, Lisa and Noah. So we brought Noah through and she was really, really happy to see him. I don't think he'd ever been to her her flat before um so that was quite nice and yeah he was he was on good form he kind of was playing and he she's got like um a little like trolley thing on wheels that she can put her leg up on i think and i think he must have thought it was like um a walker type thing because he spent quite a lot of time like pushing that around and stuff which was quite funny um yeah it's just a really nice sort of relaxed family afternoon um, I know I'm having a quiet evening so I thought I would just end the vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed this week. I hope it's been relatively interesting. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you have and you would like to see more please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. And yeah, if you've got any ideas of any videos that you'd like to see or any blog posts you'd be interested in reading that kind of come to mind at any point do give me a shout. And I will see you again in another video very, very soon. Bye.